A corporation is merely a legal document that creates a legal body without a soul. Using it, the wealth of the rich was once again protected. It was popular because the income tax rate of a corporation is less than the individual income tax rates. In addition, certain expenses could be paid by a corporation with pre-tax dollars. For example, if you have a million dollars in savings, earning $20,000 from 2% taxable interest rate, and you earn more than $65,000 as a single person or $110,000 as a couple a year, that $20,000 will be taxed at approximately 30%. Leaving you an effective return from your million dollars of about $14,000. That equates to an effective return of 1,4% before inflation. Today, I often meet people who are too busy to take care of their wealth. And there are people too busy to take care of their health. The cause is the same. They're busy, and they stay busy as a way of avoiding something they do not want to face. Nobody has to tell them. Deep down they know. In fact, if you remind them, they often respond with anger or irritation. I am concerned that too many people are too focused on money and not on their greatest wealth, their education. Most people want to play it safe and feel secure. So passion does not direct them. Fear does. The love of money is the root of all evil. The other said, the lack of money is the root of all evil. Rich people are often creative and take calculated risks. People who take the longest are people who are not familiar with numbers and often do not understand the power of investing. We learn the most about ourselves when we fail, so don't be afraid of failing. Failing is part of the process of success. You can't have success without failure. Need to give, he would always say. When he was short of money, he gave money to his church or to his favorite charity. If I could leave one single idea with you, it is that idea. Whenever you feel short or in need of something, give what you want first and it will come back in buckets. That is true for money, a smile, love, or friendship. I know it is often the last thing a person may want to do, but it has always worked for me. I trust that the principle of reciprocity is true, and I give what I want. I want money, so I give money, and it comes back in multiples. The process is the same when going from an emotional mindset of job security to the emotional mindset of financial freedom. Rich people buy luxuries last, while the poor and middle class tend to buy luxuries first. To be the master of money, you need to be smarter than it. Then money will do as it is told. It will obey you. Instead of being a slave to it, you will be the master of it. That is financial intelligence. The more people you're indebted to, the poorer you are, said Rich Dad. And the more people you have indebted to you, the wealthier you are. That's the game. It's called buyer's remorse, and it affects all of us. In school we learn that mistakes are bad, and we are punished for making them. Whenever the teacher said, if you don't get good grades, you won't do well in the real world, Mike, and I just raised our eyebrows. When we were told to follow set procedures and not deviate from the rules, we could see how school discouraged creativity. 
we started to understand why our rich dad told us that schools were designed to produce good employees, instead of employers. Many people use arrogance to hide their own ignorance.